Hi everyone, this is Ravit from AITS and in this video I'll be showing you how you can run an Onyx model even on a very simple small computer. Today we'll be running uh, a simple MNIST model on the Raspberry Pi Zero computer. A uh, $5 computer, very cheap and we'll show you how you can run even neural networks on such a small computer. So let's begin. The first step you'll need to do and I have here just SSHed into our Pi Zero first step is to install dnnc so pip3 install deepc this is installing the deepc tool from dnnc uh, part of this is our dnnc compiler uh, and we can go ahead and test that out um, by simply running a command so import deepc dnnc and dc and you know we can do something like print dot a range 5 and what this should do is simply print out 5 uh, element array as is shown here so great we have our dnnc uh, up and running now what we want to do is to go ahead and take an onyx model and convert it to an exe uh, an exe file that will be able to run on the raspberry pi zero while taking an input as an image all right so in this folder here, I have two files of interest at the moment. One of them is mnist.onyx, which, contain, which contains the neural network. It's quite a simple neural network, as you can see here. It simply takes in a 28 by 28 image, as represented by this node 0. The output is the log softmax outputs of the prediction of the given image. <coughs> and so now we'll show how you can go ahead and create the exe. It's as simple as doing running the command um, bin compile onyx right and you'll go have to go ahead and supply this mnist.onyx file and what it will do is it'll create your exe file for you and as you can see create an mnist.exe it will also write your bi biases and weights as present in an onyx file and there you go we have this file mnist.exe of interest and these four files are simply the weights and biases that this will read to produce the output so let's get, go ahead and use it to use it simply uh, run the exe with our image as input image file right and great we have read all four weights and biases we've read the image from these four we've created our output tender out Turn that out is simply the log uh, outputs for the given image, nothing too interesting here. It looks like the output for the given image is 3 since that is the highest output. And now what we can go ahead and do is to show how this can be run on multiple images at a time, randomly selected from the endless database. And so here we just have a simple uh, Py Python program. Uh, what this does is it selects some uh, images and labels from the MNIST database, it runs it on the Raspberry Pi supplying the images and we can go ahead and test the output here, right? So let's go ahead and run that. Great, as you, as, <coughs> as is shown here, it's simply printing out uh, the, the image as the uh, true label, what its actual label is, as well as the prediction. Uh, and there we go, we simply have a model that is able to be run on the Raspberry Pi. Something that's previously unthought of, but with the power of DNNC, we have been able to bring even neural networks to simple $5 computers like the Raspberry Pi Zero. Alright then, thank you for watching.